so for this one, we were on our way to uh, Stuttgart in Germany. And the nature of this gig was that it was very important. It was the European Command Ball, which means a lot of dignitaries uh, show up for this. It's a, a big deal every year. And we wanted to make sure everything went as smoothly as possible. So we sent the equipment truck and our German driver the night before. Every, then the cast could show up. And because the cast also sets up their equipment, it, you know, everything would, it would work in our favor, hopefully. Well, the night before, we get a call in the middle of the night saying, um, your, your truck has crashed on the Autobahn. The German driver fell asleep at the wheel and he's been taken to the hospital. He's going to be okay, but you have 30,000 pounds of equipment all over the Autobahn. Some of it's in the truck, some of it isn't. We hop in the bus. Everybody's, you know, groggy, half-dressed. We're just on the way. I'm the loadmaster. I'm responsible for how the equipment is loaded and instructing the cast on how to do that most efficiently, right? So the tour director's talking to me. We're coming up with a plan. We have no idea what we're dealing with. This is the 90s, so cell phones weren't a thing. Information did not travel as fast as it does today. So we arrive on the Autobahn, and the Autobahn has no speed limit. People are whizzing by at crazy speeds. And at this time, the authorities were not going to stop traffic for us. So the truck had actually flipped on its side and the opening of the truck was facing oncoming traffic on the Autobahn. We had very little time for them to bring a new truck, which they did, a new empty truck. I had to get, we had to get the cast off of the bus load the equipment that was all over the place. Some of it was actually inside of the, the damaged truck and put it in the new truck and then make it to Stuttgart in time to do sound check setup uh, for this UConn ball performance. And we did it.